Welcome back to Titans All Access from the BetMGM studio. It's time for the Nissan Insider Part 1. Harold Landry was once the youngest Titan. Now he's the team's longest tenured player. Time moves fast, even for one of the best outside linebackers in the NFL. The longest tenured Tennessee Titan. And you were the youngest guy on the team when you got here. Crazy, I know. When you hear that, what do you think? Longest tenured Titan? Honestly, I just think blessed. Like, I swear, I feels like it was just yesterday that I got drafted here and Time flies when you're having fun, man. It's been awesome being here. Obviously, my family and I love this city, love this organization, and just extremely blessed. Your family has really bought into Middle Tennessee. You've bought a house here. Why was this the place that you really are putting your roots down? We just fell in love with everything about Nashville, Middle Tennessee, and just the people we feel like are awesome. And, you know, we also feel like it's a great place to raise a family. And, you know, we just have so many people that as soon as you just meet people here, it's just like, you just click, you know, the relationships click and we just feel like it was a great place to raise our family and we've had a blast doing it. You have uh, two kids and one on the way, is that correct? Oh. And uh, you spend a lot of time around here. Are you guys still boating? Are you out on the lake a lot? Is that still a thing you do? When we can find the time, you right. know, because most of the time my son's got football or I got football or my wife's got a thing going on and, but nah, we love being out on the lake, like that's, that's our go-to. How has being a dad changed your job? Honestly, it's crazy because I was just talking to the defense about this the other day. I was talking to them about like uh, remembering your why, you know, like why you go about your business, why you put in the work you put in. And I was telling them about how like I always think of my oldest son because he's just now getting into tackle football and he loves it so much. And obviously like he looks up to me. Um, and I just think like whenever we're going through like a hard training camp practice or something like that and stuff starts getting tough because obviously you play in the NFL, it's hard. Like every day is a grind. And I just think about him and I just think like I'm his role model. So who am I to be telling him to run to the ball or ignore the heat? You know, if I'm not out there doing what I need to do, you know what I'm saying? So honestly, just I'm just trying to set an example for him. And that's who I think about every single time I get out there and I and I feel like, damn, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just think, I, just, I just think, oh, no, nah, I gotta, gotta go. Gotta turn it up even more. So it's definitely changed me. I mean, cause you, you're that example for them. And I just wanna let them know that if you work hard, you can truly do anything you wanna do. And that's how kinda I live my life because I feel like, you know, I wasn't born and everybody was like, he's gonna be, you know, this NFL star or whatever. You know, I literally had to work my ass off, make sacrifice, and I just want them to know that if they're willing to put in the work, they can accomplish anything they wanna do when they get older. How great has it been to be able to share this experience, this crazy kind of life that you've created for yourself and your family, share it with them? It's been incredible. Like, like when I say blessed, like, I'm just so blessed to have the life I have. My family, friends, you know, the coaches that I've had throughout my career. Um, it's just like been blessed to be able to be a part of this organization and to be able to have like all my family here, my parents, my wife's parents, my kids, to be able to all like experience this. Like, it just honestly makes me think to myself like, I must be doing something right. And the grinding and all the work, like it's worth it. Cause in the end it pays off, you know, you're creating a life for your kids, for your, for your family that without football, who knows, you know? And like I just said, just, just bless. Your wife is Danielle mm -hmm. and she has a career of her own designer. Yes. Yep, that's, and, that's true. And you've been able to assist her with that in some ways or? She still does that, but her main thing right now is that she teaches at uh, my son's school, Mount Juliet Christian Academy. And it's amazing the impact that she has like on these kids and like they love her, the, the faculty there, the staff, they love her. And it's just, you see the impact that she has on, you know, that community itself. Um, like these kids look up to her, look up to her. Like she is a special, special person. And I'm just like so proud of her for like, she has her thing and she is like legit, like impacting kids' lives over there. When you think about how much her support has helped you in your career. Mm -hmm. 
are there even words to describe how much you maybe want to give that back and support her in her career as well? Oh, for sure, because like her support has been crazy because, you know, when I was going through my ACL, you know, that whole ordeal, and then I came back the next season, kind of started slow. How many people are really in your corner? And she was just there for me the whole time. And me being able to go home and see her and, and my two boys, it really like helped me get through that tough time. Um, and yeah, nah, she's been with me through it all. Like my entire career, she's been, she's been there for me. And you talk about supporting her, like she's like legit my best friend. I wanna do everything with her, like everything. So like on my off days, I'll be wanting to hang with her and we be, and I just wanna like, I just wanna be with her. And I appreciate everything she's done for me and my life and our family. Perspective is a special thing in, in what it adds to your job too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, honestly, like people look up to me, but to be honest, like I look at her from afar and I'm just like, you, I think to myself like, damn, I really am like a lucky dude, like lucky, lucky. Like you think about my career, but you put that aside, like I'm blessed to, to have met her 1000%. My life would be completely different if she wasn't in it. Thanks for sharing that with us. We appreciate it. Harold Landry, <laughs> no Thank Titans All Access coming up right after this.